Uh, I am definitely a much earlier riser than uh, Kami. Good morning, Kami. Good morning. Where's the coffee? Uh, well, you know, it's funny you should ask, because yeah. knowing, knowing you, I did, uh, I did set up a little kitchen over here for your coffee, but, uh, I'm going to need your help. I can't survive without it. I understand. Okay, today, uh, Kami is going to show us how to convert a normal um, plastic bottle, uh, which could easily be recycled, um, but another one of those R's is renewed. And uh, Kami's going to show you how to renew a plastic bottle into uh, coffee blissware for the woods. So go ahead, Kami, show us how we do this. Okay, well, what you're going to need is a plastic bottle and a knife. What you're going to do is you're going to combine those together. Don't this hurt stuff. yourself. I'd be I'm very, gonna, very I'm upset. Not to. I'm gonna you did so. Not to. And see that I almost did it already. You're gonna just saw it in yeah. half. Um, I, I almost want to look away while you're doing this part. Yeah, I almost do too, but that's not a good idea. <laughs> and, and oh. Yeah, it's not very. There we go. And then. That's it. Let's wear. Yes. We got breakfast. Oh, awesome. We have breakfast. Technology has confirmed for us once again that we have breakfast. In other words, we can break our fast. Let's go do it. So we finally uh, made it back to camp, um, and lo and behold, out of, <laughs> just absolutely amazing, an entire tree has fallen on our camp. And I know it's impossible to see this in, in the dark and everything, but where I'm standing right now is where my tarp is. Amazingly enough, an entire tree, an entire old, old growth tree, so we're talking about a big tree here, fell straight on our camp. And if Kami's tent were still pitched, uh, Kami may not be with us right now. How do you feel about that, man? Um, well, yeah. lucky to be alive. You are right? lucky. You are very lucky to be alive. We were very lucky we were not here um, when this tree fell. And there is a giant branch would have landed right on me, right on my chest. Who knows if it would have killed me or not. But the entire trunk of the tree and the rest of the branches uh, landed right where Kami had set his tent up, man. That's in, that's incredible. That's absolutely incredible. And we're just going to have to get some footage of that tomorrow during the day so you can clearly see <laughs> what has happened. But we thought we thought maybe the park rangers came back here and were doing some um, uh, clear-cutting, which they do every once in a while. But um, after looking at it, I went to go see if I could find some places where it was cut. And no, it's all just cracked and crumbled, and then there's a giant trunk of a tree in a this laying where there was no giant trunk of a tree laying before. And uh, we're gonna have to move a massive branch, and uh, we might even be forced to move camp entirely tonight if we can't move enough of this debris. I say we just so, sleep on we a might, hill somewhere. Yeah, we might just go camp up on the grass over yeah. there. That might be the best bet. You know, and then just pray, hope it doesn't rain. Yeah, and then just stash our equipment here um, before we leave in the morning. We'll just come down here and stash our equipment, and then we'll go. So this right here is the uh, trunk of the tree, and it fell straight, and right over there would have been where Tommy's tent would have been. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, Christ.
What a world, what a world. And the, and the week the week that we've been having, you know what I mean? Jesus everything that I've been going through, and I don't even want to tell the camera everything that's been going on. But this is like, this is the epitome of it. Like, this, this just sums up my entire week right here. I mean, I can't even be mad or upset right now, you know what I mean? Just, just like, like, astonishment. Just, yeah, astonishing and shocking. So, um, I'm comfortably shining a flashlight in my face and a camera as well and uh, we're sitting here under a tree in a very um, open and uh, public meadow uh, in Washington Park because uh, the tree fell on our camp so we're, we can't be hidden tonight we're actually uh, going to be easily discovered by uh, early morning joggers and uh, people with their dogs in the morning and. Uh, if uh, I'm really quick on the gun and pull up the camera, I'll probably get some good footage in the morning of us getting <laughs> bombarded by joggers and dogs and stuff. But, um, uh, yeah, man, crazy night, crazy situation, and uh, even crazier uh, place to try and camp. But um, we're here, and uh, I, I'm not even going to try to show you the setup. It's just best if you see it in the morning. But, um, we're going to try to go to sleep a little early tonight, and uh, despite all of our unfortunate circumstances and um, uh, everything that may be setting us back this evening, we're still going to go to Hempstock tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's the first day. We made a lot of jewelry, so we're expecting to make good money tomorrow. And um, uh, I'll see you then. That was not very comfortable sleep. We're, uh, we're in Washington Park, uh, and we're right next to the trail here. Got morning joggers and morning dogs. And I'm sure they're just as happy to see me as I am to see them. But uh, I was necessary to sleep here. Uh -huh. It's a nice day in the morning in the park. It's a nice little area of the park. Here comes another dawn. Cyrus, leave it. Leave it down. I don't know whose dog this is. Tommy, you ready to get up? <laughs> 